Hello friends and welcome to Faro DIY and Decor. Today I'm going to show you how to make an infant sleeping nest. To make the side breads, I will use four different colors of a stretch flash fabric. And for the mattress, I will use textured fleece flash fabric. This piece is 16 inches wide and one yard long. So when I will cut it into two pieces, it will give me two yards long and eight inches wide fabric to make rolls out of it. The mattress cover is 32 inches long and 22 inches wide. I will cut all of these pieces and then I will sew them all together using a sewing machine. To sew the side bread rolls, I will join the two ends of both same color pieces first and then I will uh, sew the long sides. If you're new to this channel, you're most welcome. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked my video and share your ideas in the comment section. Subscribe and press the bell icon to see more of my DIY and decor videos. Once you sew all these pieces together, you will need to flip them around. And then I used a paper towel roll and a barbecue stick to insert the fillings inside it. I used two queen size pillows to make this beautiful nest.
Breathing four pieces is very easy. It's just like a simple breath. The only thing that you should remember that now you are using four uh, rolls, not three. So just number them. Like one on top of two, under three, on top of four. Two on top of a three, under four, on top of one. So this is how you will count and you will continue your breathings. The only problem with this piece is that it was long. It was making me some troubles, but you should be so organized with it that it shouldn't make you troubles. But at the end, the result will be so beautiful that you will be so proud of yourself. So if I can do it, you can also do it. This co-sleeper nest is a very beautiful gift if you want to gift it to someone or you can make it if you're going to have a, a child in future. This is going to turn out so great. You will be so proud of yourself at the end. Making the mattress is also a very easy step. You will need two inches of a sponge with some uh, two layers of cotton on top of it. And then after like putting it inside the cover, I will sew it all together. And will attach four pieces of ribbon to uh, hold the bread to the sides. I hope you liked watching this video as much as I loved making it. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you in my next video.